So here's a look of all the oil-based white primer splattered all over the back of my truck. And we're gonna go and just start painting this thing. A nice weekend project. So hopefully this works out well. I'm just gonna take a bucket, just gonna put some of my super deck into it, gonna shake it up really well. This is tricorn black. Hopefully my truck bed's gonna look a lot better. When the oil primer exploded back here, we used an absorbent, spread it all over there to help absorb it really fast so we can get the bulk of it out. And that absorbent stuff actually dried on the bed liner and um, it's like sandpaper. The, rough, the bed liner was already rough anyways and it's just a flat plastic. It doesn't have any sheen to it. It's some type of uh, plastic that they actually sprayed on. I think it's called rhino lining or something like that. But hopefully this is gonna resolve the problem and anything's gonna look better than what it looks like right now. So once again, I guess I could have called up some tech support of rhino lining, but I'm just gonna experiment and give this a try. Just a really cool weekend project. I ain't got nothing better to do. Football's going on, watching some football, but so we're just gonna start working on this. I'm just gonna work on the back and start just working my way forward. So I'm just gonna put myself some gloves on. I do like to wear gloves so I don't get anything on my hands. Just makes cleaning my hands a lot easier at the end of the day. But I'm brushing this stuff on and it's actually drying out and it actually looks pretty good. Once again, this is only experimental. So I don't recommend you do this until I've actually had this stuff on my truck and tested it for at least a year and see how it how well it bonds. Up here it does snow uh, quite a bit in the winter time, so it'll be interesting when snow gets in the back of this thing, sets in it, and see how well it does hold up. But I don't like this thing looking messy like this in the back, so I think anything's gonna be better. So I'm using this Super Deck product, and I guess one of the, it's a solid color stain. And we went over, I talked to the Sherwood Williams representatives, and we were trying to figure out you know, what we were gonna use. And this is actually, I didn't want anything that had a sheen to it or was shiny, because I didn't want it slippery, so I wanted something flat. Super Deck is, it bonds really, really well. It's self-priming. And this, um, this deck is actually plastic, um, and it's a flat plastic, so being self-priming, we thought it would actually bond really well. There were some other things like all-surface enamel that we thought about trying, but then we thought this would actually bond well. Now, all-surface enamel wasn't flat. It did have a sheen, so it would make the back of my uh, bed actually slick, and I don't want the cans of paint sliding around. I want it flat, so it's a little bit rough, and and stuff won't slide around that easy. So once again, this is actually completely experimental. So don't go try this on the own truck and expect it to work and then uh, contact me back and say, I destroyed your truck bed. I'm just doing this as a complete test and we're gonna see how it works out because I'm not worried about the end result if it doesn't actually stick. I guess the worst that could happen is it just peel and flake off, but I really don't think that's gonna happen from talking to the Sherwin Williams. I do really think this is gonna work out. I'm just continuing to work on this bed. I'm actually not using my four inch nap because the bed's not flat. It's got these these ribs in it that go up and down. So I'm just using the brush. It's going pretty fast. I've only been doing this for about 10 minutes now and I'm almost done. So definitely gonna be curious what you think about it. Leave your comments in the comments below what you think, whether I'm destroying this truck bed or not. I always got some haters. Always, always gonna be somebody out there that says I'm a complete idiot, but I'm not a whole lot worried about that. If you think I'm an idiot, go ahead and just leave it in the comments below. At least I'll get the experimentation done. Do like to just experiment and try different things, and do see how products perform, and this is one very unusual way to see whether Super Deck will perform well in this situation. 
So I gotta say, so far, where it's actually drying out, I'm actually pretty stoked. This is pretty cool. It's actually looking like my bed liner looks actually brand new. So hopefully it'll stay this way. Hopefully it's gonna last through the winter. Winter's coming up here pretty soon. The flies are absolutely just annoying the heck out of me right now. So there we have it, the thing is all done now. Now it's dry and I gotta say, where it's actually dry and it is, I'm actually pretty excited because it's actually looking really, really good and it's actually looking pretty natural. Like I didn't actually just paint this. It looks like it's actually a brand new bed liner. So I'm super stoked. This is just another really simple weekend project that I decided to do on this Saturday. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you got some comments to leave down below of whether you think this was a really dumb idea or a really good idea, just let me know. Hopefully you've enjoyed it once again and I'll see you on my next video. Taking a look at it now with it almost dry. It's looking pretty dang good. I'm pretty happy with it. Not, not sure about you guys. Not sure about all my subscribers and fans, but 